Three steps to make a perfect selection of geometric elements. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Hello everyone! After my previous video, 3 steps to create a perfect selection in Photoshop, I've decided to make this more specific tutorial on how to select geometric elements in Photoshop. Following these 3 steps, using the elliptical marquee tool, then defining the selection, and then working with the completed selection. Let's get started. So I've opened this image because I'm going to show you this tool which is very useful for selecting geometric shapes like round or square. And then uh, we will be selecting the basketball keeping in consideration that it is round and also that it is behind another object. Before we get started with the three steps, I would like to cover a quick tip about selecting geometric elements. So if it becomes necessary, Photoshop gives us this awesome feature where after we make our selection, we can transform it if necessary. So I'm going to start uh, by showing you this example with the first ball, the soccer ball. Okay, so I'm going to select the elliptical marquee tool and uh, usual, usually the selection starts from the uh, side. So I'm going to draw the selection, uh, hold shift to make it perfectly round, and then I'm going to move it to the center of the ball. As you can see, it doesn't cover the whole ball. So I'm going to go to select transform selection and as you can see you can transform the selection to make it fit perfectly around the ball without having to redo the selection until you get it right okay so I'm gonna push control or command D to deselect the selection because I'm going to show you another example with the rectangular marquee tool so, uh, you make a rectangular selection, okay, and then you go to select transform selection, and uh, you can move the individual corners and put them uh, wherever you need. So if you were selecting uh, something rectangular that had a, uh, a perspective or it's inclined, you can easily select it by drawing the rectangular selection and then adapting it to the shape you need to select. So let's move on with our tutorial. Step one, elliptical marquee tool. Go ahead and select the elliptical marquee tool. And as we said before, we will be selecting the basketball. So go to the center of the ball and hold alt to create a uh, circular selection starting from the center instead of from the side. And then also hold shift to make it perfectly round. Then drag the selection or transform the selection to fit it perfectly around your shape. At this point, our basketball is selected, but there is also a part of the football that is covering part of the basketball. Step 2. Define the selection. Zoom into your image and select the magnetic lasso tool. Make sure you set it on subtract from selection on the top bar and start tracing the part of the football that is over the basketball. To close your selection, go back to the first point you created and when the round icon comes up, click on the point. That will close your selection and it will subtract it from your first selection. 
Now that the selection is complete, copy and paste your selection or press Ctrl or Command J. Step 3. Working with the completed selection. Turn off the visibility of the background layer and you will see that our basketball is isolated from the rest of the image. But we still have to fill in the missing part of the ball. To do this, select the clone stamp tool, then go to the top right to the brush preset picker to select the size of your tool that you want to work with. I've covered this tool in my previous videos. So you go to the part of the image you want to clone, you hold Alt and click on it, and then you click on the part of the image that you want to cover up with the sampled part. Okay, so now continue uh, cloning parts and uh, creating the part of the basketball that is missing until you've recreated the whole missing part. Well, obviously uh, the ball won't turn out perfect, but don't worry, we have a plan to fix that. So. When you're done, go back to the elliptical marquee tool and uh, create a selection around the ball again. And uh, when you're done creating the selection, position it. Then make sure that the layer with only the basketball is selected. And go down to the icon on the bottom left and uh, that says add layer mask and click on it or go to layer and layer mask. Okay, so the layer mask has hidden everything outside of the selection. So now the only thing that is visible is the uh, part of the image which was inside the selection we made. Now this is really cool and helpful because I will continue using the clone stamp tool but the only stamped parts that will be visible are the ones that are inside the selection. So we will end up with a perfectly round basketball. As you can see, the parts that I stamp that go outside the selection after I've stamped them aren't visible. So when you're finished, go to the layer and right click on the layer mask and select apply mask. And there is our perfect elliptical selection. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Don't forget to hit subscribe and watch my previous videos where there is also another selection video how to make a perfect selection in Adobe Photoshop.